the air. All right, well, let's get this show on the road. Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector, and this is my dog, Dan. Hi, guys. And we want to thank you for tuning in, of course. Check out our website when you get a chance, MMADogs.com. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. Once you subscribe, if you're wondering, well, how do I know about the updates and how do the updates come to be, uh, log in, click on our channel on the left-hand side of YouTube, and then there's a little box. you got to check it off. It's got to make sure it doesn't check off on it automatically. So just go in there, click on it, and you'll get an email letting you know, hey, they released uh, T-Bow versus John Cholish or whatever prediction video, uh, the new one we got coming out. So do that, and then uh, let's dive right into it. So we got Gleason T-Bow, one of my favorite fighters, one of my uh, personal favorite fighters, and uh, John Cholish. So let's talk about John first. With John... He is a full-time broker on Wall Street, uh, commodities, energy, commodities, and stuff. And and uh, so first, he's you know he's a he's a full-time broker first, and also a fighter. Now he came up short in his last fight against Danny Castillo. He beat Mitch Clark, but really, I mean, who is Mitch Clark? <laughs> I mean, even the UFC, you know, poor guy. And uh, and you know he trains with Henzo Gracie. Very respected Henzo Gracie team. I'm sure he's had a chance to train with GSP amongst other people. You know, all the people coming in and out of there, seeing Henzo Gracie, a cool guy. So uh, we know his jiu-jitsu is going to be legit, but, uh, you know, he's going up against Mr. I am Iron Man. Dun, dun. I mean, this guy's got one of my favorite walkouts. He always walks out to Iron Man, just a big, smiley guy going out there, you know, 185-pound, 190-pound lightweight. Uh, he goes out there, you know, he's, he, he, uh, some people don't necessarily like, appreciate his style, but you know, he, he's, uh, he's an OG, uh, ATT American top team, coconut Creek guy. And, uh, he goes out there just out muscles, out powers guys most of the time. And then sometimes, uh, he, you know, a lot of times he'll gas in the third round, you know, but you know, I know what to expect out of Gleason T-Bow and, uh, you know, John Cholish's weapon would be on the ground using his jujitsu. But like I said, an OG you know, OG black belt like uh, Gleason Tebow, you know, he's not going to he's not gonna get submitted. You know, he's going to go in there. He's going to show him how it's going to be done. And, uh, you know, being in Brazil, uh, and, and Gleason Tebow, he's got to be one of the most – he's got to be one of the fighters that is currently active that has fought the most in the UFC. I mean, I was looking over some of his fights and some of the records he has, and, I mean, this guy has <laughs> – this guy has been around. I mean, this guy's been fighting for a long time. I mean, he's not that old. That's the thing. He looks a little older than he really is. Let me see. How old is this guy? He's only uh, 29, 29 years old. Wow. 29 he's years old. He's, he's actually his, birth, his birthday is July 10th. So I'm actually older than Gleason T. <laughs> 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 that is just unbelievable. I mean, so this guy, I mean, he, he, he's, just, he's just had a lot of experience, a lot of fights. And uh, I really enjoy watching this guy fight. So, uh, and the other thing I want to joke around about is uh, <laughs> I tell my dog, and, I, and I, my dog can tell me, uh, my dog can uh, testify for me that when I, talk, when I predict the Gleason T Bow fight, I go, dog, it's going to be a split decision, but Gleason T Bow is going to win 29 28. <laughs> victory. And uh, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he goes the other way. But, uh, but in this particular case, I think, uh, you know, uh, even if they go into John Cholish's strength, which is a, the ground fight, it's not going to matter. Gleason t is not going to get submitted unless some, something fluky happens. I'm really interested in seeing what the line looks like when it comes out. And uh, so we're going to hold off on betting strategy. But the pick, uh, the betting strategy for me, uh, my dog can join me if, if he has a chance. If not, uh, you know, then, then it's okay. You know, he's got other stuff going on. But I'll do my betting strategy after the weigh-ins and before the, uh, before the fights start. So sometime in between that window. And uh, – the pick, the pick is definitely T-Bow, and uh, you know, at home, like I said, with the wrestling and the jiu-jitsu and decent stand-up, uh, you know, gas in the third round, but he should win the first two and uh, survive the third, you know, maybe win the third. So uh, that's my pick, T-Bow, confident in it. Dog, what you got for us for this fight? Yeah, dog, this is a uh, a bad matchup for uh for this for this broker who hasn't fought in a year, dog. The, yeah, uh, the only given... thing he hasn't fought in a year. Yeah, he has, you know, he, he, he lost to Danny Castillo. And, uh, you know, that before, before he really even, uh, before he even uh, fought Danny Castillo, he, he really hasn't fought anybody. And that fight was a year ago. And so I just feel like, and Gleason t coming off that split decision against Evan Dunham, also losing to Habib, two guys that are 
like guys that should have beat him and they did it. So it's not like you can blame T Bow for those losses. And before that it was Jim Miller, who's obviously on a down streak, but I was back when Jim Miller was just like just like possessed, winning every fight left and right. But um but yeah, he he beat he beat Dosanios in a close one, beat Kurt Pellegrino in a, in a in a close one. But when he gets the finish, he gets the finish, and um, I see that happening. You know, with Gleison Tebow, what has he got? One, one loss in Brazil, and that was like eight years ago. So is he really going to go in there and lose in Brazil to this guy who hasn't fought in a year, who focuses all of his time being a broker? Uh, I just feel like. This 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 fight is going to be all day long, Glace and T-Bow. Uh, I know my dog likes to joke around and say 29, 28, all kinds of confidence. I'm going to say if the fight goes the distance, <laughs> if the fight goes the distance, it's going to be a 30, 27, easy, if not worse. But uh, to believe it or not, I think I think Glace and T-Bow gets a guillotine choke in this one early, real, real quick. I, You know, he almost uh, got submitted by uh, Trinaldo last time he fought in Brazil, but he pulled through it. Uh, I think he lost that round, but he won the decision, like you said, 29-28. And uh, it wasn't split this time, unfortunately, but uh, he had a couple yeah. split decisions before that. And uh, his last fight, he lost split decision. He had a he had a good start, and he just gassed. And, you know, Evan Dunham just is the kind of guy, the guy that you just can't uh, gas on. And so I think I think that the, we, don't, we don't know the odds for this fight yet, but I'm going to go ahead and four-star this pick confidently. And uh, I capped this fight probably Glaison T Bow being minus 300. So if you can get him at minus 300 or, or better than that, I would say go for it. Four stars, definitely a straight bet. It's definitely worthy worthy of a parlay. But um, the reason I can't five star is because Glaison T Bow, like he's 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 almost he's 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 on the edge of becoming a loose cannon in my head. I, I see things he does in the fight. I'm just what is he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So. I can't put all my confidence in saying five stars, bet the four or anything, but definitely a four star pick against a guy like Cholish. And, uh, you know, that's not to say Cholish can't come and bring it and everything, but in Brazil, I, I really, you know, he hasn't even fought outside of North, North America yet. So, um, this, this is a real test for, for a guy that hasn't, hasn't fought in, uh, since last May. But, uh, but yeah, T-Bow all day long, four stars. If you can get a prop inside the first, First round at plus money, I would say even that would be a nice, nice juicy prop. But um, but yeah, I'm taking Glacen Tebow. I'm not even. I'm I'm telling you guys right now, this it's going to be a submission and it's going to be a guillotine choke. It's not going to be anything else. It's going to be a guillotine choke. Could be rear naked, but I think it's going to be a guillotine choke because that's that's his uh, signature move. He almost got it against Evan Dunham in the first round. And uh, but you know, Evan Dunham, you just can't finish that guy with with submission. You have to uh, okay. you have to knock him out like Melvin Gillard did. Look at my dog. Look at my yep. dog. I like it, dog. Look at my dog. Yep. All kinds of all kinds of uh, line, giving us a line, giving us a, the, the the method and the in the round of prediction and everything. Look not not my... not even not even not even knockout TKR submission. Guillotine choke. Ooh wee. <laughs> and I'll and I'll be I'll be over here jumping up and down. Yeah, Aglis and T bow. Woo <laughs> And uh and I'll tell you guys in all in all seriousness, I know we've been joking around in this one and uh in all seriousness, though, I tried. I tried to find a way. I I spent a lot of time trying to find a way that John Cholish uh, could win this fight, could pull the upset, could do something. Tried finding what can he do, and the only thing I could think of, which we already covered, is that T-Bow would gas. But T-Bow doesn't gas until I would say middle of the second, third round. So the fight could be over by then. Yeah, the fight would. Be, the fight could be over. He could have already <laughs> submitted him. Not only that, but it's in Brazil. Cholish is a full-time broker. I mean, good for him, you know, props to him. But uh, I think he's stepping out of his league like he did with, uh, with Danny Castillo. And T-Bow is not going to have any, 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 uh, any uh, hesitations to get, get, that, get that crank, get that choke on him and start squeezing that, start squeezing that neck. Now, what I do want to talk about here, because we're having a little bit of fun, I got something here. I got something called here. <laughs> the broom. What you do with this is you sweep. You sweep with this broom. Now, I'm taking a look here, guys. I'm taking a look. And call me crazy, but we got Lucas Martins, Formiga, Lineker, Maldonado, Alcantara, Tiago, uh, Tabal, Trinaldo, Diaz, Natal, Dos Anjos, Souza, and Vitor Belfort. Now, I would not be surprised at all. I would not be surprised at all if we get the, woo, we get the Brazilian sweep of the cards. Now, 
I'm usually not this big parlay of a guy. Oh, I'm gonna throw this parlay and I'm gonna hope I'm gonna flip this coin. If it lands on heads, I hope it lands it. Blah blah blah. But hey, you know what? There might be. We might have a sweep here. So you know whether you can afford, you know, ten dollars, hundred dollars, a dollar, whatever it is. You can you know throw a little throw a little something on there just for fun and see if we get that sweep. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. Now I would not be surprised. If all but one hit, and everybody's saying, "Ah, oh, damn it! I almost had it! I almost had it!" So, uh, so hey, hey, don't don't be mad at me. I, that's just that's just something that I, that I think is funny. Something that I think is is for fun, of course. Nothing serious. But, uh, dog, what do you got for us? Anything else to say about uh, about UFC? Yeah, on yeah. You bring up a good point, dog, about a Brazilian sweep. Um, my personal opinion. If you guys haven't watched the last two videos, um. I picked Evan Dunham and um, and Jacare to win, but uh, but but I said do not bet on those fights, and because uh, you know Dasanyas and Kamozi could come through. So if we see any kind of uh, potential uh, break of the sweep with the Brazilians, I see it being Kamozi or Dunham or both. But but if well, I'm just picking like like who could potentially in my mind. Ruin it, ruin the night for people that are that are going on, on the sweep. And then you can't you can't leave out this Nick Lentz guy either after that dominating performance over Diego oh, yeah. Nunes last time in oh, Brazil. That was in Brazil yeah. also. So those are the three guys that I'm just looking at and being like, you know, I'm, I can pick against them, but betting against them, nope, nope, nope. No, no, no. I think I think I think uh, I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy for the Camozzi one, but for the Dunham. And uh, Nick Lentz, I think you're right on the money. Well, well I'm picking against Kamozi, but but dog, what if that guy breaks the Brazilian sweep on a minus 600 favorite? So oh. it's, you know what I'm saying? Like like that. So I'm I'm all day Jacare Souza, but you know Kamozi uh, takes one guy and then <laughs> just ruins it. So I'm saying I'm saying Jacare is gonna win, but if anybody comes through, Kamozi, Dunham, and or Lentz. Ooh, just my opinion, just my opinion, but that's oh, what it's going to be. Man. Yeah, I got to say, uh, Lentz and, uh, and Dunham are one of those two that I would definitely leave out of any any frisky for fun, you know, just for fun, nothing. You know, you're not going to go out there and put your car up or put your house up or anything crazy like that, you know, just for fun, something you could something you could grab and, and throw into the wind and say, hey, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, but thank you guys for tuning in as always. You know, we really have a lot of fun doing these videos, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you like it. Um, go ahead and make sure that little box is checked off so you get automatic emails. That way you're not, you know, in the dark wondering, oh, what happened to it? What happened to it? And, uh, and like I said earlier in our video, I know uh, we're both really looking forward to I hope you guys, too, are really looking forward to these to to these uh, these fights this weekend, man. I, I started to feel, you know, I started watching uh, some other sports and stuff on the weekends, and I just wasn't the same feeling, you know. I just, it's not the same for me. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to Saturday. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be over here jumping up and down. All right, come on, let's get these fights on the road, baby. And, uh, and, uh, one other fun thing is, uh, I'll try something different this time. Maybe it'll be, maybe it'll go well, or maybe it won't. We'll see what, what we get, but I'll do the, uh, the betting strategy, um, after the weigh ins and definitely before the fights start. That way we get a little video up there talking just strictly, uh, picks and bets. And, uh, but yeah, that's it. Dog, anything else? Nope, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next videos.